Yo what is going on people and welcome back to another video so today we're going to be on episode 4 of the terrain series and I'm going to explain to you everything what you need to know about the mask and the layer CFG how to make it so it's perfect so where they're supposed to be dirt you're actually going to see dirt I'm also going to tell you how to use a satellite image and move it around for a fake terrain and a real life terrain these are my ways some guys may do it their own way so if you've got any other tips please leave them in the comments down below if you do need any help make sure to go over to join my discord leave a like if this helped you and a subscription and i'll see you in a minute what i want you guys to do is head over to daisy tools and i want you to actually open up daisy tools now if you guys are actually carrying on this episode from episode 3, then guess what, you won't need to open up Daisy Tools. But, if you come in at a later date, what I want you guys to do is go to Tools and Mount P Drive. Now this is what you have to do firstly out of everything. Every time you restart your PC or anything like that, you need to make sure that your P Drive is mounted. Now I want you to head over to Terrain Builder and actually open up the project map. So man is long time tut. Wait for this to open. And while this is actually opening up. I want you guys to download a screenshot in tool. Maybe it's Gaiazo or something along the lines of that. There is a built in screenshot in tool on Windows 10 I think. Maybe even on Windows 7. I'm not too sure. But it's called the snipping tool. And I personally do use this myself. Now I want you to head over to Terrain Builder and if it's zoomed out like this, zoom it in as close as you can. So this is probably as close as I'm going to get. I want you to go over to the snipping tool, click new and I want you to find the very corner of the actual image, drag it across and right down to the bottom. Now that's, I could get a little bit of a better image than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a new picture I'm going to start from this corner I want it exact so it's cut off a bit of the edge we can live with that I'm going to make it go right to the edge of here we don't want to get the border we just want to be right up against it perfect that image is perfect I want you to right click the image and I want you to save it to your source folder it doesn't matter where you save it to just it's better to have everything to do with your map in one folder so it's easy to navigate to save that and once that's done you can close your snipping tool down now you guys need to make sure that if you do have any objects on your map that they are hidden and how you would do that is go over to the objects and click this I button here. I'll have a card up on the screen right now of a 30 minute long video, however it were, explaining literally every control on this. It was supposed to be episode four, but it ended up being something else. So now I want you guys to download GIMP, Photoshop, anything along the lines of an image editing thing. My personal favorite is Photoshop. I want you to head over to that and open it up. Once you have Photoshop open, I'd like you to go to file and open and actually open up the satellite image itself. Then I want you to place your screenshot down so the capture PNG. Drag it out to reach its full potential. And now there's multiple ways you can generate a satellite image. Well, not generate, but create. So one way you can do it is I'm going to use this magic wand tool. I'm going to select all of these by holding control and clicking on these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the other layer. Right click this, select inverse, and then I'm going to click delete and then I'm going to get the image drag it above this and now as you can see they have somewhat of an orange style look to them I've missed a few out as you can see here and here but now it's got somewhat of an orange style type look to it maybe you guys like this I definitely don't but that's something that you can do and then you would just literally save it as sat underscore lco or you can call it whatever you want 
but we always go with sat underscore lco and then let's say i want this i'm not going to use this don't worry but let's say i want it i'm going to click on bmp right here i'm going to click save okay okay i'm going to head over to terrain builder go on to rasters and where it says long time to satellite source i want you two guys to right click it refresh content from source now when you head up to this icon here as you can see you can now see the lovely new satellite which you call yours another way is you could fill in all this with a color now some of you guys might be like yes this is gonna be so easy we're gonna click this button here we're gonna unlock this we're gonna go on this, we're gonna go dirt, dirt, dirt. We're gonna get this color here, green. We're gonna go, okay, we're gonna get a big thing here. We're gonna go, okay, and we're gonna do that. No, that, that, that's not how it works because when you do this, it might create sometimes, not all the time, but as you can see, it creates um, a non sharp edge, as you can see here. and it's got somewhat of a different color maybe you guys like that maybe you don't but if you want to avoid that simply what you do is you go around it yourself with the tool instead of actually using the magic wand you just do that and then that will disappear so that is also another way where you can just fill in all the color do whatever you want basically you, you guess as you go along where your objects might be placed you may colour in a certain area. Now, what I want you guys to do is head over to Google Maps. Now, this is where you're going to get somewhat of your real life texture. Now, if you're doing a desert texture, obviously you might head to the Middle East or Africa. If you're doing some of Russian DZ style grass, you'd head over to Russia. If you're doing some style of tundra, you know, polar area, you go to the top of Russia. Um, snow, obviously you'll find places like here, in, uh, here, taking a picture. What we want to do is we're going to do a green area. And I like this, to be honest. I'm going to take a snapshot of this area here. Now, there is websites where basically you can go on Google Maps and there's no roads on it. There's no names, so you can literally just get a clean shot just like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image, head over to Photoshop, and I'm actually going to paste it. Now, I'm going to head over this island here. I'm going to make it smaller so it's just that little bit better quality for it. I'm going to make sure that this opacity is lower. I'm going to go to this Magic Wand tool. I'm going to go to this, click on both of these. Zoom in and make sure that they're fully over it and there's nothing missing. Right, that's got that. There's an island there. We need to make sure we've got that. I'm going to click back on the layer one. Right click and select inverse. And now I can rub away and delete everything that's not needed. So now we have where the island actually is. But guess what? We have it in a green style, better version for DayZ. Now, I'll show you this, actually, the satellite in game. And this will 100% look better than what this yellow stuff did. Now, obviously, you've got, you know, your desert area. You cannot do that with all of this. And water is pretty simple. If you want water, you can go anywhere in the world. Get this. Take a picture of it. So new, we're going to get all of this area, copy it, head over to Photoshop, paste it again. I want you to drag this image over above it, select these, go back to the layer, delete. And now if we put both of the opacities to 100, there we go. As you can see, you do now have the sea around it now to get rid of this you know yellow outline that's because we use the magic wand tool if you were to go around with a lasso tool it'd be a different thing but to get around this you can probably put you know um fill in the color with the color filler here and go around it but guess what 
This is your beach. Well, imagine that this yellow stuff is the beach. Now you have got your image, I want you to right click and refresh this content from source. Make sure it's saved by clicking on this icon, go in here. We are actually going to be going in bulldoze to this area, but first you need to right click on map frames, properties, processing, export satellite texture, convert textures into PAA, click generate and then wait for this to be done. Once this is done, it's going to come up with a black box and then once that black box is generated, you can then proceed to Bulldozer. Now for the mask, you go to file and open your mask underscore LCO. Now for this, you can also use your old capture.png, move that into the corner and drag it out. Now I must say before we do anything, never use this magic wand tool, never, 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 never use it. I want you to literally, whatever you do, only use this pencil tool to go around and highlight whatever you want. Never use any filler tool, nothing like that, literally do it all by hand. Now you guys need to go over to your source folder, so go to your P drive, long time tut, source, and in your layers.cfg open that up and now this is your layer so you've got cp underscore dirt which is dirt you've got cp underscore rock which is rock and then currently you've got cp underscore grass which is everywhere but for this tutorial we're gonna say that we want this island to be covered in rock so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we clicked on this image here now we can also make this image capacity you know lower so you can actually see through it we're going to click on this background image unlock it we're going to go over to here and whatever this is so if you want dirt this has to be the exact same as what goes in the rgb here we want rock so we're going to put 170 in the first r we want 180 in G and then we want 70 in B click OK and now make sure you're using the pencil tool now you can go around this as you can see you can see it a bit in the background go around it here we go voila now never fill this in with this tool or any other tool you've literally just do this fill it in by hand because what happens if you use any of the other tools is basically the opacity around the edge of the actual thing itself lowers so this is what you'll end up seeing around the outside you've probably all seen it with low pixel images but guess what we're gonna go over to this guess what it's a different RGB it's not 170 180 70 it is now 113, 121 and 74. So it won't actually generate the image. It won't load the new textures. So guess what? It's not going to work, which means that your map will all break. So all the layer images won't work anymore. So you won't be having masks. You might just see dirt everywhere. You might just see grass everywhere. So we're going to save this. But what I'm going to do just to make life easier is I'm going to go over to where we fit colored in this island up here earlier on the satellite image. I'm going to color it all in well around the edge. We're going to leave that so I can show you the differences. And I'll see you in a minute. Make sure you save this as a BMP. Now when you get over to Terrain Builder, right click your old image, refresh content from source. Head over to Map Frames and go to processing this time export surface mask and generate layers now you've got to wait for this to complete now what you guys need to do is make sure to go over to this just to check yeah it's here now you can load up bulldozer these are two major things in mapping your satellite makes your map look epic and your mask also does if these two things look bad you get an instant err uh, this map does not look good. I've been on a few where the satellite has been a bit green and it makes the map look like it's covered in guacamole. Now as you can see, 
We now have thy rock on thy island. This is what happens when you use multiple different textures. And if we zoom it, you know, the, this is basically what happens. You get your rock if you want rock. You have dirt if you want dirt. It's as simple as that, both vital. Thank you guys for watching the terrain series. If you do need any more help, and you've got ideas for me to make another episode, please do let me know, but the general basics of everything is now here. Please make some epic maps. Do let me know when you have made a map, and I might be showcasing that map. Please join my Discord, and if this video did help you, leave a subscription and a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.